dear viewers assalamu alaikum in this video we will study what is thin film its deposition techniques and applications first of all we will study what is thin film thin film is a layer of material deposited on a substrate for this we can take an example of silvering of mirror in which the silver is deposited on a glass which is an example of thin film deposition on a substrate the structure of thin film may be amorphous or polycrystalline depending on conditions and type of material the thickness of thin film varies from nanometers to micrometers it also depends on the type of deposition and the technique which we use for the formation of thin film thin film may be deposited as a monolayer or multiple layers the techniques which can be used for deposition of thin film may be physical techniques or chemical techniques the material used for the deposition of thin film may be a pure substance or blend or mixture of different substances the substrate is the medium or surface that provides the adsorption of the thin film in on which the thin film is deposited we should know what are the materials for thin film deposition or what kind of materials we can use we can use metals alloys ceramics polymers carbides chlorides nitrides silicides and rare earth elements for the deposition of thin film and the materials which can be used as a substrate are alumina quartz used silica aluminum nitride beryllium oxide glass silicon titanates and ferrites what are the different properties of thin film or we can say what are different characteristics of thin film which can be measured or observed when we deposit our thin film the thermal properties which is the conductivity of heat or we can observe electrical properties of our thin film like conduction of current or resistance optical properties like photoluminescence we can observe mechanical properties of our thin film like strength and weight the magnetic properties of thin film like it is paramagnetic or diamagnetic and the vibrational properties deposition of thin film is adsorption of material on the surface of a substrate it can be processed either through physisorption that is physical techniques or chemisorption that chemical techniques first we will discuss chemical deposition techniques in chemical deposition techniques there are different methods which are shown here like chemical solution deposition or it can also be the chemical bath deposition sol gel technique langmuir blodgett technique method spin coating method chemical vapor deposition there are different techniques like plasma enhanced chemical vapor deposition low pressure chemical vapor deposition atomic and molecular layer deposition first one is the chemical bath deposition in this method our substrate is the reaction occurs and this reaction medium is placed in water bath which may be present on magnetic stirrer and the temperature control when reaction occurs 
capital will be deposited on our substrate. Dip coating method. It is also like chemical bath deposition method. In this method, we have a substrate which is dipped inside the solution and a layer will be deposited on the substrate. Spin coating method. In, during spin coating method, the substrate is rotated with a different, diff, different speed in different revolution per minute. And the solution is dropwise poured on the substrate, which will be deposited. The thickness of the film will depend on speed of the rotation, time of rotation, and concentration of the solution. My video on spin coating is present on my YouTube channel where you can watch the detail of this method and how deposition can be carried out by using spin coating technique. The link of this that video will be present in the description box. Now we will discuss physical deposition techniques. Physical deposition techniques are physical vapor deposition, which can be further categorized into molecular beam epitaxy, vacuum thermal deposition, electron beam deposition, pulse laser deposition, cathodic arc deposition, and electrohydrodynamic deposition. The second one is the sputtering technique, which we can use direct current sputtering or radio frequency sputtering. We will discuss some of these techniques. Like here, we have shown electron beam evaporator. In this technique, electron gun hits the target material where the material will be evaporated and it will be deposited on the substrate and this substrate is folded with a specific in a specific direction where these vapors will strike and will be deposited pulsed laser deposition in this technique, a laser beam is spotted on the target material from where these vapors will be produced and these vapors will strike on the substrate opposite to this beam and will be deposited. So all this process will be carried out in a vacuum chamber. Sputtering system. In this method, a gas maybe like argon gas will will hit the target from where the different atoms of material will strike to the substrate and it will be deposited on the substrate it is similar like we have observed electron beam evaporator but in this technique the a gas will cause sputtering of the material and this material will be deposited on the substrate. Thermal evaporation system. In thermal evaporation system, our evaporant or the solution or the target material will be present in a crucible where heat is supplied and the vapors will be produced. These vapor will strike on the substrate and will be deposited. Here we have shown a diagram of the thermal deposition and in another, another figure we have shown the thermal evaporation system. 